Hey guys. Butter. Balls. What do these two things have in common? This guy eats them. <laughs> Raw. This guy is Butter Dog. If you don't already know, Butter Dog is a TikTok food content creator who is known for eating a testicle, testicle butter, butter dog. dog, as he refers to it, which is where he gets his name, Butter, butter Dog. Butter Dog rose to fame around October 2022 primarily for promoting the raw carnivore diet, which was much more popular at the time, this being around two months pre-Liver King downfall early December 2022. If you don't know, Liver King was also a social media raw carnivore promoter, uh, arguably the most influential of all time, who claimed his rippling Larry the Lobster physique was built purely by living the primal lifestyle and, and nothing else. The primal lifestyle, of course, being yeah, liver, eating raw liver in massive go. quantities and reacting to vegetables the way a 10-year-old does. What? Vegetables? <laughs> liver King is also famously quoted as saying, Why would you eat a vegetable when you can devour a testicle? Which is a solid point, if you think about it. <laughs> this carnivore primal diet rose in popularity in 2022 alongside the shepherd of the movement, Liver King, pandering primarily to misogynistic ideology, unfortunately leading many young impressionable men to follow suit, unaware of how truly dangerous eating raw meat is, especially in such high quantities, and also when you aren't procuring safe to eat high grade raw meat. Liver King was then outed for the use of steroids in some emails in December of 2022 and took to YouTube to admit it and apologize, but also basically say he's not sorry about it? Yes, I've done steroids. And yes, I'm on steroids. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves, the 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves. Now, Butter Dog rode this carnivore raw meat wave that was and still is very popular in specifically right-wing uh, male demographics, touting its testosterone boosting and health effects while vehemently denying any possibility of a health risk. You ever gotten sick? No, I don't get sick from me. Butterdog posted this infamous and classic video, effectively starting it all in October 2022, just two months before Liver King's downfall. Guys, if you have never had a testicle butter dog, you need to try this. What, you've never had a testicle butter dog? <laughs> Come on, it's a household name. It's, it's It rolls right off the tongue and into the, in your throat. <laughs> Since you can't really see it for censorship reasons, that is a, a sliced open cow testicle. Um, with a whole stick of butter in it. No, I'm not joking. That's not a very funny joke, to be honest. That's just gross. This is my favorite snack. Yeah, he is definitely is enjoying that. Yum. For some reason, these raw meat gurus specifically enjoy eating raw liver and testicles. They're drawn to testicles because I'm assuming since testosterone is made there, they want to absorb the manhood of every creature that they kill and eat. It's fucking gross. Obviously, I don't have to tell you that. You have to tell me that. Even cooked, I'm good personally on the nuts, but they're like veiny, raw fucking eggs. And they're so big. It's so gross. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. When Butter Dog posted this video, he was met with mostly criticism, as you'd expect, getting 3 million views and 115,000 likes. But he did also gain a good amount of exposure as well. This being posted during the peak of the raw meat trend, paired with the obvious outrage that it would rightfully cause to see a grown man ingesting a testicle like it's a sweet treat on a children's app. This is gonna give you all the signaling molecules to get you bucked up. Now there are a lot of raw meat eaters on TikTok, but there is no one doing it like Butter Dog, in my opinion. He puts an interesting spin on the raw meat trend and somehow ups the shock factor even more, somehow, somehow which allows him to garner even, even more attention. But he didn't stop there. Just one month after the Butter Dog incident, he posted this video of his version of a BLT, which is bacon liver uh. testicle. A bacon, liver, and testicle sandwich. Mm. This is my late night snack, and I can assure you, I will be getting bucked up in the morning. Bucked up? Huh? Oh, what the fuck? Please, no, no. By the way, this testicle is massive. Probably the biggest one I've ever seen. Now, this video found relative success, but it was really the next video that shot Butter Dog into the limelight. Just one month later, in late December of 2022, even after the downfall of Liver King, the testicle prince Butter Dog himself posted another banger, garnering even more views than the testicle Butter Dog, the classic 
testy pops. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a testicle? Well, that's what we're going to find out today because we're making testy pops. These are testicle lollipops. That's right. It's a slice of testicle covered in honey and frozen. This is hell. The kids are going to love these. Just imagine the smell when that thing melts. Oh my god. Butterdog claims he eats this way to give him the strength he needs to be a D1 college rower. He has a lot of videos talking about what he eats in a day as a college rower and how balls and butter make him a, a superhuman or something like that. Unfortunately, Butterdog turning the color of the butter you eat is not a power. It's a symptom of jaundice, which your comment section is very, very, very aware of. <laughs> this video about how an athlete eats is just like four unseasoned burnt burgers with some rice uh, and egg yolk and chopped up liver. And then a huge fucking raw testicle just sitting there. <laughs> you don't need that, man. He's got like a, a relatively normal plate of food and then just like an eldritch horror sitting right next to it. He's gonna, he's gonna eat that. Now on top of testicles, Butterdog really likes to eat beef pizzle, which is dick, which is beef dick. <laughs> and he always makes it a point to like suck on it or like pretend because you know, Pen penis, penis. He makes pizzle soup, which he calls penis in a crock pot. Today we're putting penis in the crock pot. He, say, he says it like a leprechaun. I don't know why he uses this voice, but it's pretty good. That's right. We're making beef pizzle this time in the crock pot. You're just going to need some pizzle or oh, horse hoof. Apparently pizzle needs to be cooked for like 10 hours to be remotely edible. So sounds worth it. After eight hours, you're going to have to uh, maybe put the uh, the pizzle down a little bit. So it's, it's under the water. I'm not sure why it looks like toxic waste. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know why man it's it's because that's penis soup I hope that helps it was fantastic I love pizzle thanks guys then it just gets weirder yeah he's got the pizzolos which is like a dick cereal so to speak silly rabbit pizzles are for kids today we're making my favorite breakfast cereal pizzolos this will have the kids begging for it he's got chocolate covered pizzle which Looks so good. And then he somehow tops all that off with the sham cock shake. Patrick's Day right around the corner. I thought I would show you my favorite treat, a sham cock shake with a bendy pizzle straw. It's a penis milkshake. <laughs> Obviously, I think some of these videos are just purely for shock factor. Like I said before, I don't think he's enjoying this. He may really like to eat balls and dick for whatever reason, but putting them in milk or a milkshake has got to be just a little, little too rancid. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I was super lucky as a kid growing up, we always had bendy pizzle straws. But I would just basically bring back the family tradition. And the great thing about the pizzle is that actually it has a built-in hole already. So you don't even have to do anything. You can just suck right through it. Butterdog doesn't just eat raw meat. He somehow found a way to make it worse. A lot, a lot worse. So he has this whole saga of cooking videos, which I use the word cooking very lightly here, where he cooks meat using a variety of household appliances like when he puts this steak in a sink and runs hot water over it i don't know how this is worse than raw balls uh but this is it is he just made it wet and at best warm and he loves it <laughs> he puts a fucking brisket into his dishwasher on the top rack this man is a maniac. Now you're just making the meat wet and you're just ruining your dishwasher. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, but he canceled it out with the old dishwasher egg. Good, so now his dishes will have that fresh scent of salmonella. This man flops a piece of chicken into his bathtub. What the fuck? Why? Why does it need to be wet? Now your whole tub is tainted forever. You, now you got a chicken tub. What are you gonna, what are you gonna do with the chicken tub? This video is just meat sliding into a toaster, and he just and he just toasts it. Mm, mm. Look at that sliding down, all slow and gloopy like. Mmm. Yes. Steam room sliders are arguably one of his most uh, marketable appliance-based meals, next, of course, to sink steak. The name steam room sliders just makes me think of, like, some new Applebee's two-for-20 meal deal. Sounds great. <laughs> Looks horrid, though. He even cooks a fucking lamb chop on a lamp and calls it a lamp chop. Uh? Is this man a fucking genius? <laughs> I want a lamp chop. I mean, I don't want, I don't want that. That is disgusting, but the name is 
almost enough to draw me in. So yeah, clearly Butter Dog eats some really, really weird things and gives them awesome names. <laughs> but the one thing he does eat that's remotely normal is butter, hence the name Butter Dog. Butter Dog, butter Dog consumes massive amounts of butter. He's often seen loading his food up with just mounds of butter or simply eating butter straight out the pack like it's a fucking candy bar. That's creamy. Now I thought butter was relatively bad for you in high quantities, uh, but to be fair, I also thought that eating raw testicle was bad for you, so what do I know? However, Butter Dog teaches us to not fear butter. Eat as much butter as you would like. We can eat as much butter as we want. You can eat all the butter in the world. And you should. It won't make you look like a spray tan bottle or anything like that. This is what your favorite butter says about you. I can't imagine it says much about you uh, other than your, what your favorite butter is. Land of Lakes is your favorite butter. You likely have never left the Midwest and you're probably a 45 year old man who's too scared to get outside his comfort zone and try something new. You use Kerrygold, you have good taste, but you're definitely set in your ways. You likely only use Kerrygold. And if butter ever comes up in a conversation, you always have to tell people that you use Irish butter, Kerrygold. It's like astrology for alpha male carnivores. What butter sign are you? Oh, I'm actually a Land of Lakes rising in a Kerrygold moon, so. <laughs> I'm quite a rascal myself. <laughs> Butter Dog's favorite butter, which he mentions publicly uh, a lot, is Kerrygold Irish butter. And even going way, way back in his channel, you can see him eating it raw, just straight out the package, like some kind of fucking animal. Which is just par for the course with this guy. <laughs> Turns out though that Kerrygold is toxic. Or uh, at least the wrapping is, or was. Is Kerrygold causing cancer? This is the biggest news to break the butter community as of late, with Kerrygold recalling a majority of its products due to a PFAS contaminant scare. PFAS chemicals, also known as forever chemicals, have been linked to adverse health effects in animals and humans. So not only is he clogging his arteries with just straight butter, but he's also consuming massive amounts of things called forever chemicals. Forever chemicals is such a daunting term. <laughs> it sounds like both a 2000s emo band and also the ultimate move of some type of mad scientist. I'm the one who's probably going to be suffering the most. I'm the one who's been eating this stuff every single day in those wrappers. I'm a little scared. Wait, he's scared? But he said to not fear the butter. I find it a little bit funny that cancer causing chemicals are, are what scares him, uh, but not the bacteria ger germ filled fucking parasite riddled uh, testicle that he's slicing open to put a piece of butter in. As expected, he renounces Kerrygold publicly and says he's basically never gonna eat it again. I'm probably not gonna buy their product until they fix this. Kerrygold, do better. And then a few weeks later, he eats it again. Okay, honestly, I'm not sure if they fixed the packaging in the amount of time that it's been since then, but he's just getting right back into it. Not deterred at all by, you know, the company putting him at risk for cancer. Just really likes his carry gold. At this point, Butter Dog was starting to worry me a little bit. The jaundice comments were piling up and he just wasn't beating the allegations, and now he's being exposed to cancer-causing chemicals, so I looked more into his account and made a pretty big discovery. March 26, Butter Dog posts this video where he explains that he left and or was kicked out of his college rowing team. So here's the full story of why I left college and quit rowing to pursue a dream of mine. Now this had me and a lot of other people in the comments shocked because he was so passionate about college rowing and refueling with his grotesque food, but it, it seems things got a a bit complicated with his content getting in the way of the sport. Anyway, last week they called me into the office and they basically told me that I would have a spot to travel and to compete with the team, but that when we are doing any of that, I cannot be posting. Basically, they just didn't want to be associated with um, with all that. They told me that um, traveling wasn't like social media campaign. So he seems a little bit salty about the whole thing as anyone would be. Uh, you know, he casually calls out his roommate and assistant coach, basically, you know, blaming them for the whole thing. But upon moving out, what am I roommates told me that he uh, what I was doing on social media might affect him getting into Navy officer school now whether or not that's true I don't really know and I don't really care but just one, uh, one of the the coaches just seemed a little petty he always has been I basically uh, would describe him as like a 30 year old man child kind of made it his goal to go out after me that's what it seemed like to me randomly towards the end of the video it just becomes like an advertisement for this product that I, I don't know looks a, a bit sketchy to me I don't know if this is the best time but but also, I guess he only has time now, so. In his next post, right after talking about leaving school, his vibe just seems super off. He seems really down. He's just like, 
chugging hot butter. You guys have begged me to drink butter. It's really quiet and awkward, and he just like hurts himself. <laughs> it's hot. I don't know, he just doesn't have that oomph that he had before, you know? <clears throat> Then two posts later, he's in Costco swearing like a madman. These are my three favorite Costco frozen food items for a carnivore diet. First, we're going to need some beef. You can get the anus ground chuck, which is super fatty, or the 100% ass fat beef patties. To be fair, he usually talks like this, but it's funny imagining that this is like his rebellious phase. Fuck you, world. I'm going to go to Costco and unwind. In this video, his face is just smothered in butter. Um, so things are looking, he's, things are, he's looking good. <laughs> things are looking like they're going well. So I had like one more video to show, but then my camera ran out of storage, so. I'm just gonna wrap it up here with my thoughts. So obviously Butter Dog eats some weird shit and in weird ways. And I don't know guys, I just got I just got COVID. So I'm <laughs> I can't think very well right now, but you get the point. This this guy's eating gross stuff and it's funny. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash coopnoop. It's $2 a month. You get the video a day early. I want to shout out my current patrons. You guys are the best. Thanks for supporting. Please like and subscribe and share with all your friends. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.